What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Twitch effect in Sony Vegas. Now I've been asked to do this tutorial so many times and I'm finally getting around to it. With that being said, if you guys want to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 up and the first thing we need to do is head over to Media Generators. If you do not see it, then simply come to View, Windows Layout and select Default Layout. Now from there you're going to scroll all the way down until we see legacy text. And then, whatever text you like, you drag on. So I'm just going to go with the default text and drag it onto the timeline and just put some text that you like. So I'm just going to put casual savage. Change your font if you want to. Uh, I'll probably just change it to something like this. And then we can just X out of this. The next thing we're going to do is press this button right here which will bring up the effects. Alternatively, you can right click and select video event effects. This is what should come up and now if you have loads of plugins and as you can see this is what it would usually look like what I recommend doing is coming to GPU accelerators and then selecting Vegas linear blur now depending what version of Vegas you are on uh, you might not be selecting the same thing GPU accelerated like me but what you want to look for is linear blur and then select add and OK now from here we're going to select these clocks which are also known as animate buttons. Before you go any further, make sure you have Sync Cursor checked. Sync Cursor is highlighted on the screen now, and what that allows you to do, when you go across on the timeline, it will also go across on your video as well, so you can see what is happening. And we're gonna come across on our timeline. As you can see it here, this is telling us the time, we're currently at two seconds. I'm gonna go to three seconds, and I'm now going to add a keyframe. The way we're doing this is pressing this button right here, we're going to come across by 2 here, so we're going to go 1, 2 and press add again and again uh, 1, 2 and press the add keyframe again. Now ignore the 2 on the ends, we're going to be using the middle one here and we're going to change the angle to 180 and now the amount, to be honest, is completely up to you. I recommend anywhere from 0.60 to 120. So I'm going to go 100 for this. And just like that, we're done. We can X out of this. This is what we're going to get. So at three seconds, the effect will hit. And that is it. If you want the effect to last longer, then come to the event effects and zoom in and just spread everything out more. So you can see this is only two keyframes. So let's maybe put it uh, five keyframes. So one, two, three, and that's five. So I'm going to drag this one off and I'm going to drag this one there and then one, two, three, four, five. And now there's five keyframes gaps. So uh, let's play this one through. Not too sure how this is going to turn out, but there we go. It's a bit more slower and it's completely up to you how you do it. That is how you make it slower or faster. That's it for this video. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.